All right, chip of the day. People love chip of the day. So this is going to be a ULN 2003. There's a series of them, but I have the 2003. Um, there's a two, a three, and a three. It, there's a bunch of fours. There's a bunch of them. Um, and it is basically this thing. It looks like a bunch of inverters, except that has weird diodes on it. Um, and let's see. Let's see what it, what it says it's good for. It can uh, run 500 milliamp devices on the output. Nice. It's up to 50 volts on the output. Nice. So it's open collector, except for those diodes. It has open collector on the output has output clamp diodes. Now, why would you want output clamp diodes? Well, if you're driving motors, if you're driving uh, inductors, like a solenoid, a relay, things like that, it's nice to have these uh, ha have these built in. Then you don't have to add them to yourself. Yeah, so yeah, so relays, steppers, lamps, blah, 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 all kinds of stuff. Um, so they really are pretty simple devices. Let me show you the schematic of one. Um, mm, mm, mm. Now they do, one of the drawbacks, I will talk about the drawbacks. So, um, like I said before, they can go up to 500 milliamps peak current. Like 300 milliamps constant current, I think is okay with these things. Uh, 50 volts on the output, 30 volts on the inputs. Those are all good things. Um, yeah, so 300 milliamps. Um, now this is the drawback here, the collector emitter saturation voltage. It's going to be a transistor on the output and it's going to drop some voltage itself. So at 200 milliamps, it's dropping a volt and at 350 milliamps, it's dropping 1.2 volts. And so you have to make sure that's okay in your system. Um, let's see here. Let me show you a schematic of this thing. So this is the one that we have. It's basically a Darlington transistor pair with some biasing resistors on it. And that's it. Um, there's really no logic in there or anything like that. It's just these two transistors. It actually has a, a protection diode on the front. I think it's a Zener that protects the voltage on the front from getting too big. Um, and then it's got these protections on the outputs, which is good too. So yeah, it's a pretty, uh, pretty robust part. Let's, uh, let's take a look at one in action. All right. So the version that I have is a surface mount version. So I put it on a little adapter board so I can put it in my breadboard and let's turn on some voltage here on my power supply. All right. So I have five volts coming into the part. Um, and I will, bring one of the lines high. So there we go. We can see that's coming up. So I'm, I'm um, turning on the first. So this, uh, how many of them? There's eight of them in here. Uh, six or eight. No, I don't remember. Seven? There's only seven? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's only seven. Okay. So we have seven outputs, input outputs. Um, and this is number one. So I have it turning on an LED. The LED is going through a uh, 240 ohm resistors to plus five. And so it's drawing maybe 10 milliamps or something like that. So we can turn him on and off. <clears throat> All right. So the next um, one I have wired to this light bulb, which is a 12 volt light bulb. So this one has 12 volts coming in and then we'll use the Darlingtons to uh, enable this 12 volt line. So let me turn that on. Oops. And there we go, nice and bright. So we're drawing about 110 milliamps and um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, these were very, very popular. I think people still use them today very popular just to drive things like little stepper motors or, you know, to be able to bump up in voltage, right? This could be a 50 volt, uh, could be a 50 volt lamp and we can enable it with this. I don't know. I don't know if you could get away with driving Nixies with this. I doubt it. Nixies are usually around a hundred and some odd volts, 160, 170. Um, maybe you could with that clamping diode, maybe you could hit that, put that clamping diode on 90 volts or so. Sometimes they do things like that. Anyway. I'll let you think about that. 
but uh, yeah, there you go. Um, nice way to run higher current things with your Arduino project. Uh, throw in one of these. And uh, that's why I have them. I bought them for some pro I forget what it was now. I was going to use an Arduino to drive something heavy duty, maybe a motor or something. I was going to use these. Um, yeah, there you go. Chip of the day. <coughs> So the chip of the day is a uh, ULN 2003A, if that matters.